you get it starting the fire? It was a minor fire, you know. It didn't even, didn't even. I paid the church damages later when I went to church later. I gave them a hundred dollars to pay for the damages, and I confessed to the priest. What time of day or night was this that you, that you tried to start the fire? It was at the witching hour, three thirty a.m. Black Sabbath, it's known as. Do you? Yeah. And so, what was your intention when you did that? What, what did you hope to accomplish? Nelly Furtado's put up something called Free the Children, Save the Children, you know? She's an old girlfriend. I'm, I know her family since I was a kid. Father Damien Lawrence Cooper is a Vancouver priest who's first accused of sexual abuse in 1994. He was sued in the B.C. Supreme Court along with... Our there you go. Well, what, did you, what did you intend to accomplish by setting the fire? What did you hope to accomplish by setting the fire? I wanted them out of the church, the, the abusive, illuminist, satanic priests, you know. That was my intention. Save the children, as always. That's just my intention, you know. Do you realize that people may have died as a result of this fire? It's a brick church, a brick house. It's not going to melt. It's not going to implode from a tiny fire on a glass ceiling adjacent to the church. Metal Shop 11, Mr. Morgan, he taught me exactly what fire can do. You need a furnace to burn metal or brick or that kind of, you know? You familiar with blacksmith's tools? Burn the church down. You didn't want to hurt anybody. I didn't want to burn the church down. I wanted to call the firefighters. Don't change my words. Don't twist my words around. Well, I'm asking you, what, did you, what was your goal? In to free the children. Save the children. Save the children. Innocent children, you know? And I can read you. The, would a fire save the children? Because firefighters aren't corrupt like the police. They don't take bribes, especially after 9 11. They're our biggest heroes in this society, pretty much. Okay, uh, can I ask you another question? Uh, if we discharge you from extended leave and end your certification, what is your plan with respect to treatment for your mental illness? I want to see a naturopath and be healed. Not this quack Jewish medicine. Jewish, you know, uh, Sigmund Freud. Do you really believe I want to fuck my mother and kill my father according to Sigmund Freud, you know? Sigmund Freud is a quack pseudoscientist. Dr. Carl Jung was a much better psych psychologist than uh, Freud. Doctor who? Dr. Gustav Jung. Carl Jung, I mean. You familiar with Carl Jung and his tarot cards? Uh, no. The revelation in the Bible is a psychological assessment of the main archetypes in society, you know? Do you consider me a sociopath, psychopath, or just a psychotic? Uh, Jokic, What's your diagnosis? Psychopath, sociopath, or just psychotic, paranoid, schizophrenic? What's your diagnosis? Diagnosis. I'm relying on the doctor to give Is there any test you can do to prove I'm insane, like a Rorschach test or a personality test or an SAT test? Is yeah. there any test that you can do to prove a blood test? Yeah. Mr. Jokic, uh, what is your witness going to tell us? Could you give us a preview of what your witness is going to say today? She's going to tell you about Mossad's bombing of Beirut. Suitcase nuke, it's called, eh? Mossad weapon. And I wanted to get put in the hospital because the Mossad and the Mishpuka, a Pritzker was their name, the family. They were chasing me around the neighborhood, trying to get me to uh, find her long lost love some, from Oka, the Oka standoff, the native man. Pritzker, Pritzker. Hey, do any of my colleagues have any questions for Mr. Jukic? Any yeah, questions? Questions, uh, Dr. Wong here. So you're not a triad, eh, Dr. Wong? Yeah, uh, can I start, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Jukic, I, I just have a couple of questions. Uh, now that you are on three different kinds of medications, are these medications helping you at all? They're making the symptoms worse. I have vitiglio on my penis, I have psoriasis. Oh, uh, what else do I have? Migraine headaches. It's on CNN Channel 33. The lawyers make the drug companies tell the side effects. 
Are you familiar with the Hippocratic Oath, Dr. Wong? Hippocratic Oath? No. No. Do no harm. Uh, do no harm. Are you, are you fulfilling your oath when you do no harm? Do the drugs do harm or no harm? You're under oath, Dr. Wong. Let me ask you a different question, uh, Mr. Chukish. Uh, uh, from your perspective, do you think you will need this medication? I do better on niacin and vitamin C and good food and a shelter and a bed. That's what most of us patients need. And you guys are doing a poor job, a very shabby job in the hospital. The food is... So, uh, if you were dissertified, would you continue with this medication? I went off the medication six months. My mom, he diagnosed me ortho orthoanorexic, a quack diagnosis, because my mom said I'm not eating her food. But I, we want me to eat her McDonald's, Coca-Cola, sad standard American diet. My mom is the one who's insane. Okay. okay, thank you, Mr. Jukis. Uh, thank you for answering my questions. Mr. Lepard. I don't have any questions for the patient. Thank you. Dr. Nadarajan, do you have any questions that you want to put to Mr. Jukic? Uh, no, thanks. I think uh, I've already stated my case. Uh, I just wanted to ask Joseph one thing. Sorry, if I may ask. Ask, please. No, yes, go ahead. Do you mind if I ask you, Joseph, whether you will take your medications if you were made a voluntary patient? I want to give it the old college try the vitamins that you keep refusing to give me. It's been right, 10 years, sense. 10 years without orthomolecular treatment, you know? <laughs> 10 years. Margot Kidder is dead now, Dr. Hoffer is dead, but he's still, his work lives on. I understand that, Joseph, but what I believe is vitamin is not the treatment for your mental illness. It's, it's not the really? medication that you recommend. And uh, do vitamins do harm or do drugs do harm? What is your opinion? Vitamins, do they enhance your well-being or do drugs enhance your well-being? You're under oath, remember. Hippocratic yes, oath. Yeah. By drugs, if you're referring to the medications I'm prescribing you, yeah. is that what you're referring to as drugs? In the Bible, it's called Pharmakia, Revelation 9, Revelation 18. Pharmakia. Magic potion, in other words. Also, he's crazy.